Welcome to myprojectbazaar.com our, our project title is Automatic Question Paper Generation System Now we are going to see the abstract of our project So as we all know that preparing a question paper for examinations like internal and external examinations is a very tedious job for staffs in colleges and universities So this system Automatic Question Generator proposes a new idea to reduce the paperwork analyze the type of the question and marks for that question that is the staffs can be able to prepare the question easily by entering into the system the system will analyze what type of question it is by Bloom's taxonomy so after analyzing it will be printed uh, and generated as the PDF so in this system two or more staffs can prepare a question for the same subjects all the questions are stored in the database so after the submission of the questions the COE can generate the final question paper that which will contain the correct pattern with shuffled questions given by the staff that is the questions are shuffled and uh, displayed in a correct format so that shuffled questions are generated as PDF so this is the overall abstract of our project now we can see the flow diagram of our project so here the first the staff and the admin are the two main modules so the staff will register into the system after the registration the staff want to wait for the confirmation by the admin so the admin will log in into the system and confirm the staff either he is the valid staff means he will confirm or he will delete if he is invalid so after the confirmation of the staff the admin will allocate the subject for each staff that is what question the subject want to take was allocated by the admin so after the successful allocations of the staffs the staff will prepare the questions for that allocated subject so and he will create the questions and he will submit to the database so after submitted to the database the admin will view all the questions and shuffle the questions and then generate the question as the, as the PDF so this is the overall flow of our project now we are going to see the running process of our project so here I have selected the index.aspx and right click on it and viewed in browser so I am it is our home page so first we are going to register for the new staff here give the staff username password a yeah, staff ID is automatically generated department MCA and STEM professor register here so staff registration is successful now our admin should want to approve so go to admin page enter the username and password for admin login so we can able to here we can able to see the view registered staff so here it's showing Karthi because all of the staffs are accepted so here I am going to select Karthi so here you can able to see valid staffs once it is selected we can able to approve so staff registration is approved now the staff can able to log in so when I reload it ok now admin is going to log out oh sorry Ad admin want to allocate the staff staff id staff name it's came so choose the department cc year second year semester 
थर्ड से हमारा फोर्थ सेम सब्जेक्ट कोड ओके सब्जेक्ट नेम एंड राइट सो आल के दिस स्टाफ सो स्टाफ एलेक्शन इज सक्सेसफुल नो लॉग आउट हियर एंड गो टू दिस स्टाफ लॉगिन सो हियर स्टाफ आईडी यूज़ नेम एंड पासवर्ड लॉगिन so here the staff can able to see different patterns of question so we can able to select any one pattern and choose the types of question so i am going to here select the pattern 1 so now we can able to see that for what subject we have allocated and uh, we can able to see the subject name so select that so now our staff name subject code and the staff id is selected so now we want to add the questions so example add what is android what are the different versions so now we have given the questions here you can see it so all the questions are given so I, when i type it it will takes what type of question it is by bloom's taxonomy so i'm going to update update the questions now so questions are updated so i'm going to log out now so this is the work of the staffs and now the work belongs to the admin so admin is going to log into the system again so now admin is going to prepare the questions so he is going to view the questions so he is going to select the subject code so for what subject code we have just cho chosen button 1 view so we, we can able to see that different questions are there so here all the questions are shuffled and displayed like this so we can take other subject also I'm going to choose pattern 4 you can see that here some of the questions does not have taxonomy because we have not added it so because that is a W is in small letter so if we give it in capital letter it will take uh, the taxonomy correctly so because the keyword is given in that way so here the questions uh, there are nearly 5, 10, 16 more questions and uh, 10, 2 more questions so now we are going to export it as a pdf so when we export this as pdf it is going to generate pattern4.pdf and we are going to save the file ok once I save the file it is going to we can able to open it so now we can able to see that questions are generated with subject code and 2 marks questions so like this so this is the overall running process of our project so thank you for watching the video